Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, colleagues from the media houses and the press. I welcome you, PS, uh, to this uh, media press briefing this afternoon. Eastern Province Provincial Administration has learned with deep regret through the media <coughs> purported harassment of the 60th President Mr. Edgar Chagwalungu during the Malaila traditional ceremony that was held in Mambwe on 19th of August 2023. We wish to state that the 60th President was not blocked from attending the Malaila traditional ceremony as alleged by some media organizations. The 60th President participated in the ceremony and he hindered contrary to the reports. The new Dawn administration upholds the tenets of democracy and the rule of law. Our administration cherishes peace, promotes the enjoyment of civil liberties, and it is tolerant to divergent views in accordance with the provisions of the Republican Constitution. Government holds the institution of chiefs in the high esteem. We, also, uh, we are also aware that events like traditional ceremonies attract a lot of people from all walks of life and political persuasions. As the party in government, the UPND would therefore not engage in any action that would demean the status of their royal highnesses and traditional ceremonies. The office of the former president is an institution of government that enjoys a number of privileges. To this end, it is important that an itinerary for his office engagement is provided to the hosting government organ in advance to ensure adequate preparations for the visit of the 60th president. You may, however, wish to know that government was not aware that the 60th president would be attending the 2023 Malaila traditional ceremony. Despite not having prior knowledge of the 60th president attendance to the ceremony, necessary provisions were offered to him. While acknowledging with regret the exchange of words between purported patriotic front members and the purported UPND members, this was not targeted at the 60th president. The provincial administration intervened in the matter and calm was accordingly restored, allowing the ceremony to proceed peacefully. It is therefore unfortunate that some media houses are projecting the minor disturbance among some attendants, some attendees, as being directed at the 60th president. I would like to call upon all political parties to desist from peddling their political agendas at such important events. Traditional ceremonies are an important cultural heritage for all Zambians, regardless of their political affiliation. We wish to call on the media houses who are in the habit of giving sensational information to the public to desist from doing so. Media ethics demands that you are factual and professional in the manner you disseminate information. Some of the misinformation that is disseminated on various media platforms, especially social media, have the potential to divide the country. There is only one Zambia and we need to protect it at all costs.